Hey everybody, it's Rick Mount with VIP Independent Mortgage, part of the Mike Hardy and Rick Mount team, representing Southern California here. Hey, this week's quick facts, we're going to talk about something you may start seeing in the news if you haven't already, but uh, it may impact the process uh, of, of buying and selling a home. So Fannie Mae is offering a new program that will start towards the end of January, maybe February, depending on actual implementation, in which they're going to offer the lenders that sell loans to them the ability to have an an additional review of the appraisal. So good news is they're trying to help protect people and making sound, healthy lending decisions. The challenge is, is it's creating another step to the process that many people could um, say will add to the cost and maybe even delay the, uh, the closing of the transaction. So right now, really, a lot of people say there's two sales that happen when you go to buy a house. First, there's the agreed upon buyer seller price. And then the lender, if you're using a mortgage, has to agree upon the appraisal price. So the house or the value of the house is really sold two different times. So in this process now, uh, what Fannie Mae is offering is the lender that's using the appraisal now has access to Fannie Mae's proprietary database or home valuation system, which is an automated system that will provide as many as up to 20 additional comps that a lender can use to help determine if the actual appraisal provided by the appraiser is accurate and worthy. So, for example, if somebody agreed to pay $250 for a home and the appraiser goes out and appraises it for $250 and then the lender comes back and Fannie Mae's proprietary automated system says, hey, we've got 20 other comps, we think the value is $230, now the lender is going to be forced to make a tough decision. Either go back to the appraiser to say, hey, can you justify the extra twenty grand, or choose not to lend or lower the lending standard. So as you can see, this added step of the process may cause some appraisers to be nervous, which some, and probably the biggest fear out there is could cause them to be conservative with their estimates. So we certainly want checks and balances in place. We'll have to wait to see if the new Fannie Mae thing will actually help or hurt, but keep in mind, it's not as bad as it may seem because most lenders use some type of internal quality control measure to value the appraisal already and most likely have access to the same type of information that Fannie Mae will provide. So the lenders that have great systems, they're going to figure out how to take advantage of this, still protect everybody involved, and get the deal closed on time. Others are going to struggle with it, but it's something that we got to pay attention to. So this week's quick facts, Fannie Mae's new proposed appraisal, is it going to help or hurt the market? We're not sure. But if we can help you in any way, please give us a call. We're here to help. Make it a great week. We'll see you on.